Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we'll be designing and simulating a DC motor um, for various talks and the design is provided in the Word document below. So first we'll need a power GUI block and so before and we'll need a DC machine. So we'll take a DC motor and now once we're done with that we'll set we'll take the first preset value so it will be 5 HP 240 volts for the armature and 300 volts for the field so we'll provide that DC voltage here so based on these values itself we'll have to provide the torque that is full load torque half of it and one fourth of it is what we'll be doing so we'll give the DC armature voltage Maybe 300 volts. Just copy paste that and we'll name it armature. DC voltage. Now we'll have to connect this across the armature. So once this is done, we'll also need a step block. So basically, this step block is what will give you the torque. So we can set different values. So We'll, we'll say time t is equal to 0. We'll keep changing the torque at different times. So three time t is equal to 3. Time three is, t is equal to 5. And time t is equal to 10. So initially we'll keep the torque to be 0%, like 0, like no load. and at time t is equal to 10, we'll keep the value of torque 1 fourth and time t is equal to 5, we'll keep the value of torque to be half of the value. So it will be 5.09 for time t is equal to 10 and 5 and 10.18 uh, for time t is equal to 5. So we'll take an adder block with, sub with subtractors as well. So what we'll do is so basically the full load torque is 21.38 so sorry 20.38 so what we'll do is at time t we'll add 0 torque and at time t is equal to 3 we'll have full load torque and then we'll subtract the other torques so we'll subtract 10.18 and then we'll subtract 5.09 so at time t is equal to 10 seconds, we should have one fourth of the full load torque. So once this is done, what we shall be doing next is we'll take a bus creator. So bus selector, sorry. Yeah. And now we'll select what is it that we need. So we we'll need, we'll select all the four um, parameters that we want to observe despite the fact that the reactants the field current doesn't uh, change so once this is done then we'll take a display and a scope And we'll also take a gain block, so we need to convert it from radians to RPM, from radians per second to RPM. So 60 by 2 into pi, and the scope to observe the outputs. So we'll just connect all the outputs to the scope So we'll just arrange all the display blocks and call it so that there's no confusion. So 
So now, once this is done, we'll run the simulation and we'll observe the outputs. And the design is provided, I'm mentioning it again, the design is provided in the description below. So check for the design below and you can verify the output in the simula on Simulink. We've also done another video on um, speed control of a DC motor. So do check that as well. So as you guys can see, we just make it four layout. I'll just change the simulation time to 14 seconds because it doesn't actually take the one fourth of the full load talk value because it's 10 seconds because it happens at time t is equal to 10. So now as you guys can see the field current, the speed is maximum when there is no load and it's the least when it's on full load and as it becomes half of the full load talk then it increases and then one fourth it increases again. So the armature current as well is least when there's no talk and it's maximum when there's full load talk and decreases as the talk reduces and the field current is constant and yeah. So hope you like this video, hope you found it useful. Do check out our other videos as well and kindly subscribe to our channel if you like the content. Thank you very much.